For the second year in a row, the Centennial boys sent Ravenwood home early. Trailing 42-39, missed free throws by the Cougars left a chance, but Ravenwood couldn't get a shot off in the final 2.4 seconds. Centennial advanced out of the first round of the District 11 AAA tournament despite the slow start Wednesday. We had a bunch of young guys step up tonight. Number one, baby! We, no, we had a bunch of young guys step up tonight, just just like every night, and uh, they, we were able to pull it out for once. We we got we got a little bit of taste of it against Franklin. We've been we've been searching for it and searching for it pretty much all year, but it, it's really nice, especially. At, all we've been working for all year is tournament time, and we find it, and this is what we've been looking for, and this is, it just feels great to get one, especially on the road. Centennial trailed 16-10 early, but not at the game late in the third quarter as the two teams stayed close. Freshman Trey Carlton scored 14 points to lead the upset Cougars, who entered as the sixth seed in the district tournament. Joyner added nine points, and Jerry L. Wilson chipped in eight in the tight contest. It was intense, and you, you think it, you'll, it'll say on the schedule just another Wednesday night game, but this, this was anything but. This was two teams just going at it, and it's like this every year in the district in the playoffs, but uh, it's just two teams going at it the entire night, not giving in, guys taking charges, guys it's getting physical and everything, and, but at the, end of, at the end of the day, someone has to get the win. I'm glad it's us at the same time. Brennan Mickelson hit this three-pointer to give Ravenwood a 35-32 lead three minutes into the fourth, but Centennial came right back despite another bucket by Elon Smallwood. He scored eight of his ten in the first half before fouling out midway through the fourth. Carlton attacks and hits to give the lead back to Centennial. The senior joiner came away with several big rebounds down the stretch, including this big offensive board. Joyner hit three of four at the line in the fourth, while the rest of the Cougars combined to go five for ten to leave the door open. But the Cougars will face second-seeded Brentwood Friday. Ravenwood ends its season.